Sanchez. On his incredible streak of wins on Jamaican soil. You say you love me, baby. Meets a sensational Jamaican teenager. Oh, oh, oh. But when you hear his music, you may be wondering, is he really Jamaican? Oh, yeah. And the new Jamaican-based group of producers set to destroy the international music space. Can they do it? All coming up right here on stage, plus this week's e-news reviews and video stage. Welcome to the show, everyone. I am Winfred Williams. We'll be right back. I have a dream, I'm a qualified for chase it. No old slave nigga, but to like erase it. Working for the black card, green card. No one can make a black card. Multiply my stocks, I make my stock, yeah. Reaching more and more screens around the world every week. On stage, so much more than entertainment. And we're back with stories, making our e-news and reviews this week. The premature end to the war between Popcorn and Mavado notwithstanding, Mavado seems to not have been ready to quell his war spirit. So went for the big dog. But this is of course no unfamiliar place for the Gully God. The Gaza Gully War has been reignited. Distracts thrown left and right between Mavado and Cartel. When will they learn? Except, of course, Vibes Cartel is behind bars. So the question is naturally, how are these diss tracks coming out? The story is that his quote-unquote new releases are from previous unreleased studio sessions, but hardly anyone believes that story. To date, though, there has been no concrete evidence that the world boss is recording behind bars. After weeks of back and forth between the two, a song called Last One was released late October. Said to be Carter's last diss track, but Mavado wasn't having it. And just this week, released a new diss track called No Friend Fire. Since then, the verified Instagram page at Vibes Cartel was updated with captions, seemingly speaking directly to the gully god, saying, DJ Khaled, how you sign the dog so long and him can sell goal all now? Not even a Grammy nomination? And another update captioned, Papi and the look a blind boy utter than him, so how more size up with the world boss? Well, ladies and gentlemen, it seems the war has gotten ugly, with no end in sight just now. Stay tuned to On Stage. It's now official. Pan, formerly known as the CB Pan Chicken Championship, has now become a must-go calendar event in Jamaica. Apart from naming the winner of the Pan Chicken Trophy for 2016, there were several other wins overall. Every record that we've ever had has been broken. Like CB's decision to move the event to the Halfway Tree Transport Center, which was a massive success. The venue was converted into a multi-purpose concert hall. Everybody well, knows well, they said we couldn't do it. As was expected, thousands came out to indulge in the various pan offerings. Contestants jerked up a storm throughout the day. But when it came down to the literal meat of the matter, it was St. Anne's Terrian Davidson who walked home with the trophy and thousands in cash and prizes. Pray, pray, pray a lot. I pray a lot. Um, I guess God give those who really want it. For me, oh my Lord, I've tried so many things, but this one was really my talent. Then it was time for the stage show aspect of the evening. And if you thought last year's lineup was great, this year might have topped it. A staple on the event, Kevin Downswell. I've always looked forward to stages like these, where I get a platform and a chance to declare Jesus on a different level. Bigger. This is my message. This is who I am. And so for them to embrace me and to just give me this chance, excited. There's an energy when you hold me, when you touch me. So Taras Riley and a host of friends. In a big diamond, such a thing will have big clubs. Yeah, we may not eat chicken. I mean, afraid man of chicken. But we love people. So we'd have to get their music. And, and the, people, the people come from everywhere. Yeah, man, people from Albert. That's why we have people from everywhere. People with different style of music. And it's still about love and unity. The doctor be the man. Everybody in here, all right? Be the man of Jack Bunny. I'm okay. 
and a man who has been winning in Jamaica show after show. The incomparable Sanchez. All things are said and done, Pan 2016 could very well be a contender for entertainment event of the year. And now for a look and listen to videos making our video stage this week. The words and sound of Vibes Cartel continue to inspire art and the lives of many of his fans the world over. Years after his incarceration, this is Real Youth. Me a real youth, not for them I see true. Come round for the free fool, yeah fool me fool. Who no think, me no know. Mankind is a way of world. And we change with the full moon. Give them a help. And one of the rhythms that will most definitely be played over and over again this Yuletide season is Sean Nizzle's The 47 Floor Rhythm. Razor B's contribution to that project is a winner. This is Winalef. Mr. Vegas seems to be staying the course with his walk with God. This is his latest gospel single called Row the Boat. And Janine stays true to her Rasta warrior spirit and is unafraid. Sisters unafraid to make an example of a guy or a woman for that matter who would ever dare to try. See true the future is dependent on the youth where we are built. This is warfare, this is not a drill. So any fool feel folly full and want to fraternize. Any undercover freak better know to keep them eyes. All right, so that's our E! News reviews and video stage for this week. Stay with us, still to come right here on stage, Sanchez. Sanchez. On his incredible streak of wins on Jamaican soil. And meet a sensational Jamaican teenager, who you may believe comes from somewhere else. And a new Jamaican-based group of producers are set, it is said, to destroy the international music space. Can they do it? All coming up right here on stage, we'll be back. Love has played its game on me so long. Started to Reaching more and more screens around the world every week. On stage, so much more than entertainment. Welcome back. A growing trend in music globally is producers, DJ, and aggregations of both putting their names as main artists on tracks and featuring established artists. Case in point, Skrillex featuring Damian Jr. Gong Marley. Now greetings to the world. Vice of the one big gongzilla alongside Skrillex. Major Lazer featuring Justin Bieber. And if you feel you're sinking, I will jump right over. And Calvin Harris featuring Rihanna. But she's looking at our guest in this segment is a new duo called Destroy, who operates under John Baker's G Jam Studios and who is looking to make their mark with their debut project featuring dancer turned recording artist Mystic. Individually, they are Dizzle and Troy Baker, and together they are Destroy. Right now, right here on our stage, and I hope they don't destroy. On stage, <laughs> <laughs> gentlemen, what you do? Let's good love man. man. This is right. This is yeah, yeah, man. And man. Troy Baker. <laughs> All right. So you guys are based here in Jamaica because you're working out of G Jams. That yes. means that you are yes based in Jamaica. Yes, we are. We are based in G Jam Studios in Portland, mm -hmm. Port Antonio. 
um, Troy is based in the UK, UK for half of the year, you know, and yeah. comes down like every six months and we'll collab, you know, with Skype, Dropbox and stuff. Okay, so, so you're yeah. using the technology yeah, to work exactly. together still. Yeah. Okay, so where, where would you say your music is? I know you're working with Mystic, but before mm -hmm. we get into to that, where you're going into a genre that is, um, I, in my view, is exploding. Mm -hmm. Uh, where are you in the scheme of things right now with your, your efforts to be um, among that elite crowd? Mm -hmm. Well, basically right now, we are in the building stage. You know, we started about three years ago working on several projects with a couple of artists, Mystic, one of the first projects. You know, we're doing other artists with a couple of local artists as well, Kim Nain, um, Versatile, Assassin, Devin you know, the Doctor. Devin the Doctor. You know, we have also, you know, collaborated with a few international acts, you know. Mm -hmm. I've done a track with um, Rihanna on our second album. You know, we did some stuff in the studio with Drake, um, Kendrick Lamar, uh, Alicia Keys, Amy oh. Winehouse, you know. And when I'm down in England, I work with yeah. MIA. Mm -hmm. MIA. Uh, CeeLo Green, right? CeeLo Green. Yeah. Let's hold it, gentlemen, and let's go to the first track with Mystic. Here we go. Hey, I'm a winner, most I believe I can see achieving and making my name. I am a leader. Fortune, I'm so fortunate. Miss the lyrical architect. I be the one that's writing check, making moves step by step. I keep on working, the fit is a fit. Stay on my grind and I keep it legit. See me well low, I'll be rising real quick. I build the castles that stand in on my own. Who we be? It's Mystic, come around the city. All right, there you have it. The music of destroy. <laughs> wow, featuring Mystic. Yeah. Right? And so what's your credit on this? Um, I'm a producer, you know, instruments, you know, engineer, everything. You know, try. We both build a track and, you know, collaborated on it. Yes. You know, with Mystic. Um, did some writing as well. So no voice? No voice on no this particular voice. track? Not on this particular track, but on other tracks, you know. And there's another Mystic. There's another Mystic track also called 30 Bad, you know, that, you know, um, has a different style, you know, a different idea. It's more trap, yeah. you know, and yeah, it's all right. Let's take a little piece of that. Here we go. Dark and sadistic, you get it twisted. You're gonna find out who this chick is. That is mistress, mystic. Snap your wig quick. Hop up, I got my half a laugh. I want my stick up on them. Nearly, I'm a fine out with this. Packing them back in the back of the lock. Punish, punish, we're willing for chat. Tell him I'm murder whenever my damage is challenge. I better you tell him for quiet. Just up in black, ready for that. You and your friend, I'm sitting on a chat. All right, there you have it. Another piece of the work of destroy. <laughs> They're destroying us with music right now. So, how are people responding to your work so far? Troy, take that one. People are responding good, you know? Like yes. When we released our, that single, it was being premiered on, on like loads of platforms. Online, people were uh, you know, writing good stuff on it. Yeah. You know? the, U the UK is on to, to you guys? The UK is picking up. The yeah. US right now is like, you know, more or less the ones that are picking at it. But the UK is loving it. The but I mean, like, we got s like so much content that is yeah. ready for the UK. We got so much content for the US and so much content down there. Yeah, because once the UK says this is music, it's yeah, music yeah, for yeah. the world, exactly. right? Because exactly. it's a gateway to, it is, it is. to the mainstream. Yeah. 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 Would you say there is a, a dominant genre sound in the in the uh, in, in your in your work yes there is um and that is dance hall yeah. dance hall is the dance hall is the root mm -hmm. and i would like to also say there's a lot of trap influence yeah. why trap i i believe that trap is a lot influenced from dance hall as well and that yeah. heavy bass and all of that you know we just use eight oh eights and you know weird sounds and just try to Get a dance or groove in it, and you know, use some you know yeah. new Trap futuristic song. Natural yeah. element. So when you perform live, you do this, right? You do yes. perform yeah, yeah. live. Yes. Yeah. You you spin a tr on, on a uh, when we're console live, or, we, or we, you use. We spin on a console. We have a drum machine live sometime. Yeah. You know, if there's an artist there, we we'll try to emulate. You know, like the vibe in the studio. You know, so you know to give her that interest in live element. Sometimes we'll probably even have a drum set, you know, and play, you know, and play some samples, okay. you know? Nice. So how do artists get to work with you? Well, just hit us up, you know. I mean, we're there. We, um, we, we're, we're ready to collaborate, you know. I mean, we're looking for, you know, other in, interesting people. We have a few people on the plate right now that we're doing some projects with, and you'll be hearing a lot of within the next few months, yeah. you know, I mean, 
Look at it. Every month, you know, we're going to be dropping something, you know? So you guys are seriously going See, after this. We're serious, right? right. And the globe is your target. When for next month, another video. <laughs> yeah. 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 Well, you're working out of one of the best studios in Jamaica. In the Caribbean. In the Caribbean. <laughs> yeah. And so you, you, you're equipped. Yeah, man. And the video production is right there, too. Yeah. Right? It's all in-house. It's all yeah. tight net. We now, we're the team. You know, we make it happen. Mm. When the international artists come down to G-Jam to work, they work with us, mm -hmm. you know, and they love it. You know, they come back, you know, and it's a nice vibe. We keep the connect with them. They love our music. I want a quick comment from both of you about mm -hmm. the influx of dancehall sound in mm -hmm. mainstream international music. Mm -hmm. And who owns it? Who is exploiting it? Who is at a disadvantage? Is it negative, positive for Jamaicans? I'll say it's positive. It is positive because, all right, look at this, Renfred. Um, people always been a fan of Jamaican music. You know, a lot of hip hop artists, a lot of pop artists, they listen to reggae music. And you're seeing it now, that influence over the years is coming out in a lot of these artists' music. Because for a while, they, you know, I get a lot of calls, okay, um, I need this artist on a track. If you remember a couple of years ago, Assassin did a track with Kanye West. Mm -hmm. You know, that was through us. You know, I got a call and um, they wanted, you know, an artist on it. I said, hey, you have to go with Adrian Sasko, you know? And they hooked that up. It's a Kanye West collaboration. When you listen yeah. to Jamaican music, it takes you right to Jamaica. Yeah. You know, and I feel like that's why loads of people are sampling it, like, and, you know, using the same groove. They want, to, they want that vibe in yeah, there. Yeah, the okay. vibes. A lot of different type of people would say pass through Portland a lot of times. I'm saying, whoa, this person actually know about Jamaica? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Much less Portland, you know? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, gentlemen, we're good to know. It's good to know. Respect, It's man. good to know that um, a genre that has been, well, you know, major layers that we own a little piece of major <laughs> layers. Yeah. We want to see more Jamaicans yeah, more like dominating. And you guys yeah, are exactly. based here, and that's nice. Yeah. That's really nice. Troy. Very thank you so much thanks for coming. For All right, it's great you. meeting you. We look forward to the music and keep the videos coming and the work coming. Yeah, man, definitely. Keep us updated definitely. on what, what's going on with you. All right, there you have them right here on stage. Destroy. Stay with us. Still to come, a young man with a talent that you won't believe comes out of Jamaica. And later, the sensational Sanchez. We'll be back. Oh, oh, oh. more and more screens around the world every week on stage so much more than entertainment welcome back he's the son of rural saint andrew but listening to his music the last thing you may be thinking is that he's jamaican born and bred he's 19 year old singer songwriter composer matthew blake oh, I like to was compelled to introduce to you when I heard one of the tracks from his EP. But before our chat, here is what we recorded earlier of Matthew.
Matthew Blake, who is on our stage right now to tell us more about himself and his music. Matthew, mm -hmm. thank you so much, sir. So good to have you. Okay, the status of your music at this point. Where are you with it? Well, um, currently recording with recording back some songs, you know, because we did the EP, and basically with doing the EP, it was just like a keyboard, a flat out keyboard. Okay. So what we're doing right now, we're working with some producers and remaking some of those same tracks okay. that you may be hearing soon. So, so the EP is not released yet. The EP officially. The 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 EP of 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 the vis of vision was released yeah, but working with um, people like Sharon Burke right now, mm -hmm. she has decided that it can be much bigger in terms of you know um, sound quality. Mm -hmm. and stuff, so right now we're in the process of recording. So you're working with solid agencies? Solid agency. Sharon Burke? <laughs> yes, sir. Oh, good. So how did you get on to her? She well, found you? Or no, or actually, same way, we found you. <laughs> oh, you, <laughs> um, you yeah, hit her with the we, music? Yeah, so basically um, it was, I was there one day and my manager, Leon Pierre, and so he came to me like, yo, just sent out an email to, to, to solid agency and they responded, saying okay. that they love your music, and we went in for the meeting, and that's where everything started. <laughs> oh, I got you. So how many tracks are, are going to be on the, the EP when finished? So, oh, just, just five songs. Five songs? Just five songs. Okay, and we've just heard one. That one we yeah. just heard is Call one of name. them. That was Call the first, first song written. Written? Yeah. So that's the, 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 the icebreaker for you. <laughs> yeah, very good. Okay, so you were, you were a student of Oberlin High School. I was. Was a student. past student of Oberlin. <laughs> my school, by the way. My school. That's how it's supposed to be. All right, okay, so you need to know. <laughs> okay, so they're, they're here to give you some love and some mm -hmm. support. Definitely. So, but how do you speak to me now uh, and to the audience about mm -hmm. what happens when you perform live to, to, to an audience? Well, um, feeling, I can't explain that feeling because I get lost, basically. Mm -hmm. I'm not. The, 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 the Matthew Blake then. So it's not like, oh, I, I, I'm being focused on, well, should I should do this, I should be this person. Okay. You just get in, that, get in that groove of, you know. Of the moment. The moment. Wow. Yeah. So the response, the response you've been getting from, from audiences? Well. Where have you performed? Awesome. Well, performed, with, since I met um, Auntie Sharon, I performed for the athletes at Jamaica House. That was the last performance for me. Mm -hmm. So um, places like Jazz and Blues, we did Jazz and Blues the year that Celine Dion came, she, we opened up for her. Okay, you did this small stage. Small stage. Okay. Yeah, we did that like two years, mm -hmm. two years or stuff. So, and all together sing as human. So. Yes. 
as a part of the choir. Yeah, as a part of the choir. And did you did did you win? Yeah, were of you course. part of the winning? Of the winning, <laughs> the winning year. I know I'm the yeah, winner. Okay, I, I know. <laughs> but, it was, it was three times. But you were part of the winning. Yeah, I was. Team. I was. I was. I was the youngest brother because each 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 win was a different brother. So you had Jermaine at first. Mm -hmm. That was 2005. Jerome. That's your older brother. Eldest brother. Mm -hmm. And then Jerome, which is an older brother, he got it in 2006 and I got it in 2010. So it's music running in the family? Yeah, definitely. Deep. The veins, man. Okay. And so you're the baby? No, I'm of the, the baby. Music <laughs> but you can call it that. Yes. Yeah. Um, okay, so, the, so you seem to be going pop, right? Yeah, pop. No, pop reggae. Pop reggae. Yeah. Yeah. That's how you describe your genre, right? Well, it's not a set genre because I, I don't limit myself. Yes. So basically, if I, if I get a rhythm that I feel comfortable with in terms of, you know, the, I, li I like the sound, I like the richness of it, I'm definitely going to make a hit on it. So what do you say? I'm sure you've heard that you don't sound like the typical Jamaican yeah. artist. <laughs> yeah. What do you say? What, how do you respond? Well, truth being told, I am Jamaican, and I'll always be Jamaican. But, I mean, nothing is wrong with being different. Mm -hmm. You know, they, 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 they draw our culture and use it. You may see that in songs like Sorry and, st and songs like that. So I'm basically doing the same thing right now, using mm -hmm. their culture, mixing, mixing it with or And this is coming natural for you. Yeah, definitely. You're very comfortable on these, yeah, and these records and, the, and yeah. these singing and performing like that. Yeah. It's very natu natural for you. Natural. And so where do you want to take it? What, what's your dream? Give us well, a peek in your head right now about <laughs> where you're going. I don't want to go too much, but basically I just want to, we have this thing as Jamaicans to say, oh, you can't. Do, do 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 that type of music because it won't sell. So I want to break that break that curse mm -hmm. to say you know it can't be sell. As long as you are artist and you are confident in yourself and you know what you want to be, I believe that you know once you put your mind to it, you can you can you can excel. Of so, course. So I that's the kind of confidence yeah. that um, that should be part of your your brand. Definitely. Because it's. It's it's limitless. Your brand is, it, it, I, in my view, it can transcend mm -hmm. cultural, Definitely. language, Definitely. geographic boundaries. Definitely. There's no stopping where how far you can go if you if you are serious. And I know you are serious. <laughs> oh, of course. Okay. So moving forward, mm -hmm. what's how do you move forward? What what do you gonna, what do you do well, now after you have finished the recording of the the five songs, mm -hmm. re-recording of the songs? How do you move forward? Hit it big. Yes. <laughs> we hit the promotions, we hit, you know, shows. I'm sure after even tonight, they, 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 they'll be calling for shows. So, I mean, it, it, it's progression. And you're ready for that? I'm ready. More so it's Solid that. Agency there to call? Solid Agency or Lane Appearances. Okay. They are the boatman management. All right. I want to back up a little bit now mm -hmm. and ask you a question, a, question about, a few questions about your credits. Yeah. Songwriter. Yes, sir. Singer. Mm -hmm. Composer. Yes, sir. Um, so the song we've heard before. Yeah. Um, the, the, who played on it? Well, he the, was the same. Yeah, the Daniel. Same. Daniel basically is like my writer and musician. So if I have if I if I, if I have just one line, I could always call and say, oh, Daniel, mm -hmm. we think Boris might make some fun this. And he would come so, up with. Uh, I, by the way, are, are you trained <laughs> in music? Well, I would say trained, but. YouTube and my oldest brother, Jermaine Blake, he was a past student of Edna Manley, so he basically passed on the, what he had learned. Mm -hmm. So it's basically, as you say, going through our veins. So he and keeps um, um, Daniel, mm -hmm. Ubelina, um, student Ubelina of, School, um, past student as well? No, he's, well, he's currently in sixth form. Oh, he's still in school? Yep. So the track, what we're hearing yeah. and will hear Daniel was in, the one EP, yeah. in the EP will be Oberlin, yeah. 100%. 100%. Music and voice <laughs> and, compo and composition, composition and production, definitely, everything. Definitely. Wow. <laughs> the best school in the world right now, OK? <laughs> You hear me now. What I'm going to do right now is mm -hmm. to give you back the stage to mm -hmm. perform two more songs for us. Definitely. How is that? Great, ready. Uh -huh. <laughs> Oh 
lost in your own mind I hope you find yourself Sometimes we should just take the time out to show people, to tell people that, look, I appreciate you for all that you've done. I'm grateful. 
And I'm glad that you're also a part of my life. <laughs> Whether it is your mom, friends, man, your king, your queen. <laughs> Show people they appreciate them. Message from Matthew. Boss me. <laughs> Well done, well done, well done. Uh, could you tell me who the backup singers and um, sure. the musicians are? Yeah, man, definitely. So on keys, we have Daniel, and um, we have Akila Brand, we have Tevin Gibbons, and the beautiful David Lam. All right. Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen. All students of Oberlin. Yes, sir. All students. Yeah, all. So lots of music at the school, right? Well, that's, 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 that's our route. Ah. Yeah, man. Well, I could take some credit. Maybe I started it. <laughs> Thank you so much. All right, still to come right here on stage, singing sensation, Sanchez. Some signs in life, some that you may not like. You could be living this minute, the next minute you're gone away. Reaching more and more screens around the world every week on stage. So much more than entertainment. Welcome back. This year, Kevin Anthony Jackson, who is typically a scarce act in Jamaica, made three appearances on local soil, all of which fans just can't seem to stop talking about. The first was Rebel Salute in January. Then Reggae Sunfest Montego Bay in July. And just last Sunday, the CB Pan Fest in Kingston. This is no surprise, though, to anyone who knows Mr. Jackson, for they will tell you that the length and breadth of his talent and catalog are near unmatched. But where has he been all these years? You know him as Sanchez. Our very special guest, right now, right here, on stage. My Sanchez, sir. Every time, every time. So good to have you, sir. Yeah, so good yeah. to have you. Well, sure. well, well, sir. It's First good. of all, congratulations on all these performances. Thank I you. missed the, the first night of Rebel Salute, the Friday night. That's when you performed. Right. I wasn't in the venue that night. But at some fest, yes. I, was, I was there in the VIP in the flesh yes. and saw for myself. Yes. That tremendous performance that perhaps is the one that is most talked about. Yes. Would you say that? Would you agree with yeah, that? Yeah, I would say that. Yes. Yeah. So where have you been, sir? Where have you been all I've these been years? I've been here. You've been here been in Jamaica? In Wilmington, right here. Yes? Yes. But so why, why, aren't yeah, we, um, why weren't we seeing a lot of you? Man, right now, it's like, I almost can say, it's like I'm not accepted the way I should be. Okay. Yes. And I can see that in everywhere I turn. Mm -hmm. Everywhere I turn. And even more so with artists. I'm doing my show. You mm -hmm. won't cut my time the 35 minutes. Mm -hmm. But the artist that's coming after me is going to work two hours. What sense does that make? Okay. And so that, that happened in some instances? Almost all the instances. Almost, Almost all? all of them. Some face all of them. Hmm? Yes. So though you, 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 you rip up the thing, yeah. you, you took the place apart. Yeah, and I didn't get to sing the songs that really made Sanchez. Yes. Yeah. Some of your... Yeah, I didn't do a whole lot of songs. Oh, my and I didn't even um, serenade the ladies, so you know, that's my thing. Yes. The women belong to me, so mm -hmm. I love to serenade them. I love to get my time with them. Yes. And I didn't get it. So that. your time, what would be the right time for you in terms of length of time? What would be perfect? 45 minutes. 45? 45 minutes. Did you get that at the, in Kingston recently? No. You didn't get it? No. I think it needs to change because I'm, I'm seeing people right now who are saying, oh my God, Sanchez, I can't believe you're so, you still seem so wicked. Yes. You're still so splendid. Yeah, that's a question What's that been many happening? people are asking. But because, I, can't, I can't answer Because it. you still have it. There's right. nothing different about exactly. you now than... I would say it's even better. Yes. It's getting better. Yes, if anything, better. Yes. So um, 
I don't know. So we're not seeing you because promoters um, are not respecting you enough. But you also said artist, artist. You mean yeah, you're getting a bad vibe artists, from? Artists, some don't want to work after me, and some don't want to work before me. So mm -hmm. I don't know, man. I don't know. I don't know. So what's different overseas for you? What is, what, is it different abroad? Well, when I bought them up abroad, it's the same thing. Mm -hmm. When it's when you <laughs> when I bought them up abroad, you mean when you book up Jamaica? Yes. <laughs> oh, wow. Yes, but otherwise it always go cool. Yes. Yeah, until you know, I don't know. There's always some. Something. What about your own the, the, um, where shows where that are build build around you? Yeah, always and you come get out. your time. Always those, work those out. are better. Yes, always work out splendid. I don't know. So Jamaica is yet to see you in concert of course. by yourself. Of course. I have a whole lot of songs right now that I know my fans need to hear. And yeah. I need to perform them. So you, Sanchez, you yes. wet. You, I mean, you change from your, your jacket goes first, then yeah. you, you lose the tie yes. and, yes. and get really soaked. Yes. And you're still loaded with songs that, are, that you would like to do on those yeah. occasions, even yeah, not man. at the CB Of pan. course, of course. Come yeah, on. Wow. Mm -hmm. man, I just hope they would just give me even five or six more minutes. Mm -hmm. And then I know I would, I would have brought the house down. Oh, wow. Because didn't, it didn't happen the way I wanted it. Oh, you had I a, expected a, a finale it. kind right. of energy that you Of were. course, because a planning thing, that's half a tree. Yes. I'm, I'm right there, I'm looking at Jamaica right there. It's not just half a tree or a crossroad. I'm looking at Jamaica, people from all walks. Yes. So I planned my thing well, but I didn't execute. What would you say, Sanchez, and speaking of, of your, your having, you're ha still having it? Yes. What would you attribute that to, still having it? Ha God having Almighty. the voice and the, the agility. The, the unseen the being. Yes. Yes. I would say that's a man who has me, has my back. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because... There are times when, I mean, the field look crowded, and I still just come out like without a speck. Yes. I know it must be the, the Almighty. Mm -hmm. So I keep it that way. I try to keep it that way. Pray before I go on stage and acknowledge the Father and know that there is a God. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, okay, so as far as the talent and the delivery and the agility, but right. there's got to be some. Earthly things. Yes. <laughs> Some things that you do right here on earth. Yeah, well, <laughs> in your I would everyday say, well, life, just that stay you home. Would attribute that to. I don't go out much. Mm -hmm. I don't party. Okay. I don't party at all. So you kind of, you preserve yourself. Right. Uh, physically. I would say. Yeah. Okay. Let's go back to your roots and, right. and start with where in Kingston were you born? Yeah, of course. Memorial. Mm hmm. <laughs> yes. <laughs> what community, though? <laughs> yeah, and you know, grew up in 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 Waterford, mm -hmm. and that's where I spent my childhood. Went to school and Waterford. Yes. Okay. Did you do anything before music in life? I'm very good at drawing. Mm -hmm. I can draw you right there as you are. Yeah, I could put you down right on paper right there, just the way you are. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, wow. So yeah. do you still do that? Do you yes. still practice that? Of course. Sometimes I draw pictures of my wife and stuff. Eh? Of course, and she would beg me, please don't, please don't rub it out. Please don't lose it. Please. So you, so you, you, so you would have a, a catalog of your own nah. drawings and stuff? Mm -mm. No? Never. No. You just do them? See, I love music, so I put all my energy there. Did you do it as a job? or? No, you? I did it in school. In school? So yeah. music was your first job? Right? Exactly. But right now, if music should say, um, I'm going, mm -hmm. I got something. Still have something. You do write songs, don't, don't yes. you? Yes, yeah, man, I write a lot of songs. So you're a songwriter, singer-songwriter. Yeah. Do you produce and those things? Chichi Man, or what you want to call it, that song there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it was produced by me, written by me. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's one of your later yeah. Uh, hits. Yeah. You're, you're yeah. very spiritual in your performances yes. and, and you've done a number of gospel tracks and so on. Yes. Are you a Christian? I have all the beliefs. I have all the qualities. Mm -hmm. I try to live my life like that. So I'm not a Christian. I don't go to church every day, but 
it's right in my heart. Yes. Never leave my heart. God never leave me no time, no time. It's always been in my thinking. I try to incorporate him in everything I do. Mm. <laughs> it's coming up now. We know that you're doing the cruise. Talk about that first. Of about. course. I, I've always wanted to do that cruise. Mm -hmm. And when Damien called me and said, you're next, I said, wow. Thank wow. you. Wow. And I'm ready to pump. I'm ready. I'm just ready like a jackie. <laughs> <laughs> that will be special. Trust me, yeah, we I know were there will, last I know it year. will be. I know it's going and to be special. And trust me, that is when reggae is, yes. you know, the, the sound yes. quality, the, the, the setup, well, I mean, the, everything about it's it. It's all about it's Marley. Above. It's all about The Damon. experience is extraordinary. It's all about Damien. So at the end of the day, I know his thing is up there all the time. Yes. Yeah. You're also doing GT Extravaganza. Right. And that's in St. Elizabeth. So, so yes. that South Coast will see you. Yeah, man. We'll see a little bit. And I need outside. to see them too. A long time. Longing to see them, so I know a whole lot of people couldn't make it to some fest. Yes. And some of these big gigs. But I'd like to go to them, you know? It's no problem. Well, GT is no one of the big gigs. Yeah, yeah man. GT I'm ready, man. I'm ready. No I'm pumped up gig. for this GT thing. So, of yes. course, see oh, me wow. there. I could tell. I will say to uh, um, those who are planning to go yes. or, or, or those who aren't planning to go. Yes. Go. Go. <laughs> go. And make yes. sure you, you get the performance from Sanchez. Thank you, man. Well, Sanchez, sir. It's always a pleasure. Blessed love, sir. Thank you. We appreciate Thank you. you coming and, and speaking to us. It's always Continue a pleasure. Continue to sing for us, Bridging. That, Thank you. That voice and that catalog of yours, they're timeless. Yes. They're timeless, and I think for as long as you live and can sing, we will be singing along with you Thank and you. dancing to your music. I appreciate it. Blessed you. love. Thank you. All right, there you have him right here on stage, Sanchez. And that's our show for this week, Winford Williams. On behalf of all of us, thanking you for joining us. Do join us again next week for more on stage. There are lots of signs in life, some that you may not like. You could be living this minute, the next minute you're gone away. Be conscious, my sister. And by your work, she shall surely be paid. I, I, I never try this name, my lady. The one who's got the tiger. The one who's high and he looks not low. I, I, and if you ever this the man with the one who's got the tiger, it will be someone that he does. Frenzy on the NG, smoking sensey, sipping on some Hennessy. Thanks for watching our video. If you're not yet a subscriber, click now and be on stage always.